I just dyed my hair today, and so every time I scratch my head, the dye like goes under my fingernails, and it's like driving me crazy because now my fingernails are purple, and it's super annoying. <laughs> It's Jay and today I'm here with my July TBR for 2018. My mother has decided that she's actually going to pick my TBR for the rest of the months of the year. She has a different way of picking them every month so this time around she made me go to the stack of books I have beside me because I have about seven piles of books that don't fit on my shelf. She made me count down five every pile and that was the book that I have to read this month. So I have a total of seven. So without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> the first book she picked out is Boneless Mercies and this is by April Genevieve Tulchulk. It's actually an advanced reader copy. It's supposed to come out October 2018, so I have to read it anyways, so I'm not mad about it. But the whole concept of the book seems really interesting anyways, so I'm pretty excited about it. It's basically a gender flipped retelling of Beowulf. I follow 17 year old Frey who is a member of the Boneless Mercies. They're basically hired to kill off the sick and old who are going to die anyways but want a quicker death. Frey and her three other colleagues are growing sick of having to be the ones who kill off these people and they dream of a bigger life. News of a giant murdering people of a town nearby. The Boneless Mercies decide that they are going to go slay this giant even if they have to team up with the sea witches and a evil queen along the way. I'm super intrigued by it. I've actually already started it. I'm about 50 pages in and so far I'm really enjoying it. It's kind of like the backstory of the Boneless Mercies right now but they're super cool so I'm, I'm into it, not gonna lie. The next book my mother chose was Shadow Queen by CJ Redwing. I think that this is a Snow White retelling. The book follows Princess Lorelai who is banished from her kingdom. She's thought to be dead after her stepmother killed her father as well as took the throne of Ravenspire over. It's a story of her trying to get stronger with her magical powers in order to defeat the queen. It also follows a prince named Cole whose parents and older brother end up being killed by a ogre in a neighboring village and in order to save his kingdom that he is now in charge of he needs magic which he can only get from Queen Irene. The only way the queen will accept this trade is if he becomes her huntsman and hunts down the princess Lorelai and brings her her heart. When the princess and prince meet they end up liking each other more than they expected and it's kind of them trying to navigate her being hunted but them having feelings for each other and all that jazz. I have heard very mixed things about this book but I've had it on my TBR for so long now because you know your girl loves herself some fairy tale retelling so I'm hoping that I like this one too. The next book she pulled out is A Sister's Secret and it's by Sydney Rax and this one seems pretty interesting if you ask me. It follows a group of sisters whose mother recently died and in order to keep their bond a lie. They decide that they're going to have sister day and these challenges that they have to complete in order to stay like true to one another and one of the challenges is that they have to always tell each other the truth and that's when things get a little bit interesting. I'm kind of interested to see where the story goes because it says one of the sisters has a very big secret that could ruin everybody's lives so like I'm hoping that it's something like she like murdered somebody. Probably not what it's gonna be but your girl can hope okay? Your girl can hope that there's gonna be some stabby stabby in this book okay? The next one she picked is the more like contemporary one for this TBR but it is Maybe Someday by Colleen Hoover. This is one of the Colleen Hoover books that is more liked by a lot of people so I'm kind of grateful for that. It follows a girl named Sydney who's super in love with her boyfriend and will do anything for him and then she discovers that he's actually cheating on her and she has to deal with that but then she meets another boy who she's starting to really dig and it's basically them like growing their relationship and getting to know each other. That's what I'm getting from the back of the book. Could be very wrong but I'm thinking that this is going to be the more like fluffy one 
of my TBR, so we're probably gonna save that for after the Stabby Stabby book. Hopefully, there's Stabby Stabby. The next book that she chose has been on my TBR for a heck of a long time, so again, not mad about it, but it's The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer. This is by Michelle Hodkin. I've heard mixed things about it, so I'm kind of nervous, not gonna lie, but we'll see how this goes, I suppose. We're gonna see, hopefully, <laughs> We like it, but I guess we'll see by the end of the month if we get around to it. The next one she picked is Anatomy of a Scandal by Sarah Vaughn, and I am pretty interested in this one. It's about a woman named Sophie whose husband comes home one day saying that he is being accused of this crime. She basically needs to decide whether or not she's going to stand by his side, but she's hidden things for him for a while now since his university days, so she decides that she's going to be the good wife that she is and hide whatever he is hiding. And she doesn't know if he's telling the truth, saying that he's innocent, or if he actually did commit the crime that he's accused of. So I'm interested to see what the crime is. Interested to see if he actually did commit whatever it is that they said he did. So be into it. Hopefully he murdered somebody. It's a constant theme on this channel. We just want the murders to happen because we don't want them in real life. So we need them in the fantasy life, you know? And then the final book that she chose I'm excited about because it's one of my favorite authors and it is the Impossible Knife of Memory by Lori Hulse Anderson. I read Speak by Her, one of my favorite books. I love it so much, so I'm hoping that this one is good as well. I also read Winter Girls by her and really enjoyed it, but it follows a girl whose father was in the war and he's having some PTSD, so she's trying to get him to get through that. But then he turns to drugs and alcohol and she's kind of watching her dad go through this downward spiral, but she's also dealing with a couple of things from her past. So it's basically the story of her dealing with everything in her life and then she meets a boy. I'm super excited because it's Lori Hill Sanderson. I'm hoping that I love it, but we shall see. All right, guys, so that is my TBR for the month of July. Not 100% sure how much I'm gonna get done or if I'm gonna read any of it because I start full-time work on Tuesday, July the 3rd. Are we gonna read? Who knows, because I'll be running around with children all day and then I'm probably gonna be too tired to hold a book because your girl's lazy. So maybe she'll just do a lot of uh, audiobooks this month. We'll see. Let me know down below if you've read any of these and what you guys thought of them. And I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!